G'day mates, long overdue. Here's my review on the Prisma 20A automatic CPAP machine, manufactured in Germany by family owned and operated company Leuvenstein. And I hope I pronounced that correctly. It's not easy with an Aussie accent. All right, let's start with the positive, shall we? Noise, she's dead quiet. It's on right now, can you hear it? Nah, not really. <laughs> It's about 25% quieter than the AirSense 11 here and possibly the quietest CPAP machine I've ever used. Now this isn't a comparison video, but I have this machine here as a point of reference because both CPAP machines are marketed as top quality high-end CPAP machines with a price tag to match. Now I've done a sound test using my ProTec. This is a professional sound recorder. Same settings, no humidifier, same tube, same mask, no EPR, me breathing exactly the same with both devices. It's a quality sound test. And there's about four decibels difference between the CPAP machines. Let's check it out. Now four decibels doesn't sound like much, but in the dead of night, it equates to around a 25% difference in how you perceive the noise, how you hear the noise. So you can certainly tell the difference. It's amazing how quiet this machine is. So if you are someone who is easily disturbed through the night, who needs a dead quiet room, this is your machine. However, it's worth noting that a lot of the noise these days does come from the CPAP mask as well. But as far as machine noise goes, bloody unreal. Number two, the build quality is exceptional. She's built like a tank. <laughs> this is a Land Cruiser right here, guys, unbreakable. It's German engineering at its best, and it has a Swiss-made micronail blow inside. Now that's the heart and soul of your CPAP machine, right there, the thing that moves the air, obviously. And these Swiss-made micronail blowers are regarded as the best in the world. Bloody expensive, but bloody good. Here's a video from Micronel, check it out. My name's John Rowe from Micronel. We are a Swiss-based fan and blower company. Uh, we were proud to celebrate our 50th anniversary last year. We are a second generation family owned company owned by Peter Meyer. And uh, we're one of the few fan and blower companies based still in Europe. Micronel fans and blowers are very unique in terms of their performance and their design. And there really isn't any other products in the marketplace that are like our product range. Don't you just love that? Gives me the warm and fuzzies. Micronel, family owned and operated manufacturing high-end Swiss blowers, the best you can get for over 50 years. And they go inside this device, manufactured by another family company, founded way back in 1986, somewhere around that time. Now, Leuvenstein purchased the CPAP business off Wyman, which is another German company. Now, Wyman, I used to deal with Wyman back in the day, way back in the hospitals when I first started. Wyman have been manufacturing ventilators for over 70 years, high-end ventilators. What I'm saying is, this is history right here. It's not just some company that popped up in China pumping out cheap blowers from Shenzhen. These guys have been around for a long time. The build quality is excellent and they're using top hired components to manufacture a top quality product. twin turbo <laughs> micronel blower. How cool is that? All right. Let's see what she weighs. 230 grams, there you go. Now this is essentially a ventilator blower. It's capable of 40 centimeters H2O. So in a CPAP machine doing 20 centimeters, which is the max, it's basically in cruise control. Here's the AirSense 
11 blower. They use the same blower in the Air Mini as well. And compared to this, it just feels like a toy. It just feels, you know, it's all plastic. It just feels cheap and it weighs, you know, 84 grams. Now I can buy these blowers for around 250 bucks Australian, and I can buy these also for around 70 bucks. So there's the difference right there. Number three, the heated humidifier is excellent. I love it. Doesn't take much to keep me happy these days, guys. Just don't run dry on me in the middle of the night. And this chamber has a capacity of 400 mils, which is the largest of any water chamber on the market, 20 mils more than the Air Sense 11. And if you've read some of that feedback, people do say it runs dry in the middle of the night. And when it does run dry, it continues to heat that heater plate, which is not great. If this one did run dry, it would shut off. It has a heater rod here. And I love this. So this is the rod that heats up, turns the water to vapor. Now, because it's a rod and not a plate, here's the plate. Most water chambers have a plate, a heater plate. And what happens when it runs dry, even when it doesn't run dry, you get a lot of mineral buildup on the plate. A lot of scaling on this metal plate here. Whereas with this chamber, you don't get that. You don't get any of that mineral buildup. It's awesome. It's also easy to fill, empty and clean. You can fill it up by pouring water in this hole at the top here, straight through there. Or you can just pop off the lid, nice and easy. Let's fill it up straight into there, like so. It goes on. Easy. Done. And I'll just show you this here. It does come with a side cover. This is included. So if you don't want to use your heated humidifier for whatever reason, side cover just clicks into place. What's next? Number four, auto algorithm. The automatic pressure delivery of the device is extremely efficient and accurate. So important. I've done a full video on this before that compared all the different CPAP machines and their automatic pressure delivery. And this one came out on top. So if you want to check out that video, the full video, click the link above. Number five, soft pap pressure relief. Makes breathing easier without reducing apnea control. You can increase soft pap and it will have no impact on your apnea control. Most CPAP machines have some form of pressure relief. ResMed has EPR, but as I've previously shown in another video, if you'd like to watch, click the link above, increasing EPR and reducing that exhalation pressure reduces apnea control. You have more apnea when you increase EPR, not the same with this device. Number six, quality app and software options. And I'll put all the links in the description down below. You have the Prisma smartphone app, Prisma Cloud Connect. This is for remote patient management. And yes, it does use a cellular modem. We'll talk about that in a moment. Prisma Journal, which is a web app for summary data and also Prisma TS which is some downloadable software for more detailed therapy analysis, similar to Sleep HQ, but not as good of course. And we are adding this device to Sleep HQ in early 2024, which is very exciting. Now on that cellular modem, it bolts onto the side here, take off this little flap, I wish I had one, just goes on the side here. And that enables Bluetooth to connect to the smartphone app. So you will need this to use the smartphone app and it's a 3G cellular modem and we know what's happening with 3G. <laughs> I've been going off about it for a long time now. The good news, and this is why it's great dealing with like a family type business and not a public company like Fisher & Pike or like ResMed who don't give a damn. They're gonna replace all the 3G modems with 4G cellular modems, free of charge. Now everyone knows I'm obsessed with sleep data. I love it. And this machine has a feature which I've never seen before. It's called Prisma Recover and it calculates the duration of deep sleep you have each night based on your nocturnal breathing. And from what I'm seeing, it's pretty accurate. Bloody unreal. I love the big touch screen. However, it's worth noting it is a physical touch screen, not a capacitive one, like a smartphone. So you do need to physically push in 
the menu buttons. But the menu is nice and easy, nice and intuitive. I've done a full video on the menu before. Click the link above if you'd like to watch that video. And now my dear friends, the negatives. She's not the prettiest girl at the pub, let's be honest. I know beauty is in the eye of the beer holder and all, but you'd probably need about 20 pints. I affectionately call it Darth. Don't you think it looks like Darth Vader? We got a white one too, I call that one the Stormtrooper, the Prisma Smart. I'm hoping one day they bring out a little travel CPAP machine. I can call it Skywalker. Have the whole Star Wars set, how about that? Um, they definitely focus on function over form. Whereas ResMed, pretty little Amy Sue over here, beauty pageant winner, form over function. She's wearing a little mini dress, looking very nice. They don't care if the water chamber runs out halfway through the night. As long as it's nice and small and looks good, who cares? But she got a fat ass. She got big fat ass. Thick through the hips. Have a look at it, would you? Tipping the scales at like 2.4 kilos, a whole kilo more than the air sense. And she's got a power supply to match. Check this out. Look at this beast. Skynet. She's thirsty too. 37 volts, 2.5 amps. Now, I don't think there's a convenient way to run this from a battery. If there's a power outage, if you're going camping and so on. Uh, the power cable is weird. It looks weird. ResMed is weird also, but I don't think you can do it. Unfortunately, I think you'll have to do what the Fisher & Paykel users do, and that is get a big ass battery that has an inverter built in or an external inverter and plug it into the inverter. Whereas the DC machines I'll just unplug my laptop. Little Air Pro Copilot power bank here. This will run this machine for 10 hours, 12 hours, even on 20 centimeters. Weighs about 500 grams. Too easy. So, something to think about. Most of you guys that use these machines are grey nomads, you're retirees, not everyone. Sorry to the young people watching, not everyone, but a lot of people. 80% of my viewers are 60 plus in age, living the dream, retired, going out in their RVs, their caravans, exploring the world, saying goodbye to the kids, using up the inheritance. Good for you guys. So, a battery might be important. If you love your camping, if you love your caravanning, if you're doing your cruises, if you want to use it on an aeroplane, this is very convenient. Something to think about. All right, so here's my final thoughts. The Prisma 28 is deserving of its high price tag. Quality made in Germany by a great company, Lewenstein, using great quality components. The Micronel blower inside, um, and it's got an excellent automatic algorithm and some other great features as well. If you're someone who's a frequent traveler, you might find better options elsewhere. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and until next time, sleep well, make every moment count, go and explore the world, you grey nomads, and I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching, cheers. Number six, quality app and smart, 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 detailed analysis. Not quite good as this, uh, not quite that. Uh, uh. <laughs> number six number six quality app and software options you've got your prisma smartphone app <laughs> number six quality app and smartphone options you've got your prisma smartphone app you've got prisma cloud for connecting with clinicians via the cell towers we'll talk about that in a minute Prisma Journal, which is a web app, and also Prisma TS, which is another web app. Put all the links in the description down below. Ooh! Number six, quality app and software options. And I'll put all the links in the description down below. You've got the Prisma smartphone app, Prisma Cloud, which connects you to... Fuck!